Tell me when you're ready. I, I'm ready. We're live on TV. Hi, I'm Benji Sarlin. It's September 30th, 2011, and this is the campaign in 100 seconds. We're going to have the most relevant excerpts. We'll play those for you and, and break it down for you. Herman Cain. If you've turned on cable news the past week, you've probably seen something like this. Let's talk about Kane's new slice of the pie. Herman taking the slice. He was raising Kane. He would raise Kane. All of this just raising Kane from can't to maybe yes, he Kane. <laughs> <laughs> this was the week that the pizza mogul turned presidential candidate finally turned from just being a joke and into a pun. They didn't have to do it, and they did it. Before, he was pretty much known for two things. This. You're still sitting there glued to the tube, belly aching because the cupboard's bare. Delicious free pizza. They know we all voted for pizza. Who says this pizza's the best? You ever had Godpaw's no, Father's Pizza? Oh, it's hard. And this. Sharia law and the Muslim faith. Islam, the Muslim brotherhood. A Sharia law. Sharia law. Sharia law. But after impressing in debates and winning the Florida straw poll over Rick Perry, we're starting to see more of this. First of all, Mr. President, with all due respect, your calculation, quite honestly, is incorrect. But with added TV time comes added scrutiny, and Herman Cain still has a habit of making comments like this. Many African Americans have been brainwashed. I will garner a minimum of a third of the black vote in this country, and possibly more. Stupid people are ruining America. So what's next for Herman Cain? Well, he could make a difference in the race by eventually endorsing one of the front runners, and he recently said he would never endorse Rick Perry. But as for going from pizza mogul to president, it may take a bit of divine intervention for the amateur gospel singer. We're just reporting the news.